So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, to determine the, um, to first to determine the degree, we got to make sure we put it into descending form. Now, in this example, you guys can see that this is not in descending order. So what we're going to do is I'm going to rewrite this. Now notice that 3 is negative. So I'm going to rewrite this as a negative 3x squared. That 8 is positive, so it's plus 8. Okay. Now I have my highest power first going down in descending order. Now, therefore, I can determine that my degree is equal to 2, and my leading coefficient is negative 3. Is this the same one? Yeah, it has the same, has the exact same. OK, well, whatever. Um, so now let's go and classify it. Well, again, we classify by the degree. Well, the degree is um, degree is 2, so therefore it is a quadratic. And we only have two terms, so it's called a binomial. OK? The M behavior, ladies and gentlemen, is actually exactly the same as that one. So as long as they have even and negative, all the M behavior is going to be exactly the same. Yes? That was by the leading coefficient test, which we went over, which we have in our notes, which is that big box. Does anybody at your group have that notes from there? You don't know what that means? OK, all you're determining. So I'll go over this again if I can make sure I have everybody's attention because I really